Hello, Classic Crew, and welcome to today's episode of The Scoop. If you are new to my channel, The Scoop is our opportunity to catch up, go over what went on over the course of the week, and just act like we're grabbing a cup of coffee together. Before we get into today's video, it would be awesome if you would subscribe to my Substack newsletter. At my Substack newsletter, you will get access to exclusive content not available anywhere else. You will get a weekly newsletter directly to your inbox with an article, exclusive videos, content pitch contests, as well as a place to submit live stream Q&A questions. So if you are interested, make sure to head to the link in my description box, grab a cup of coffee, and let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk about today is I just really want to thank you. Uh, after I posted my video about having a miscarriage, the response was amazing. People were so kind, and I also loved to see other people sharing their stories and feeling like maybe they had found a space to to share what had happened to them and share their grief. And that's really important. I know that there were also a lot of disgusting people in the comments, so I apologize for that. And the reason I'm not turning off comments on those videos is because I would like for the people who are looking for a community and a space to be able to find each other. Um, and I hope that those other commenters, those bad commenters, will not deter anyone else from reading and finding other women who have experienced this traumatic thing. So I just am really grateful that I have so many wonderful, wonderful subscribers who were so kind and so loving in a time that is so painful. But now we're going to move on to some other topics. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is that Jacob and I have been watching Breaking Bad for the first time because the whole thing is available on Netflix and I never watched it when it was on. So we started it. The first season I found a little bit hard to get through, but from everything that I've heard, there's an incredible arc to the series. And so I understand that they kind of needed to lay some groundwork in that first season. And so it is a little bit slower, but now that we're in the second season, it is just so much more intense. It's not for the faint of heart. It's very upsetting in many different ways. And so if you are interested in seeing a show that is more on the darker side, then I would recommend it as of now. We're only in the second season, but let me know in the comments if you've watched Breaking Bad. I know a lot of people have. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts, but please no spoilers. I would beg that you do not give any spoilers past the second season. <laughs> Thank you for that. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is that Bill and Melinda Gates are getting a divorce. So this is what they wrote about it. Over the last 27 years, we have raised three incredible children and built a foundation that works all over the world to enable all people to lead healthy, productive lives. We continue to share belief in that mission and will continue our work together at the foundation, but we no longer believe we can grow together as a couple in the next phase of our lives. They've been married for 27 years. The idea that they would get divorced after 27 years is depressing to say the least, but also what they said about it, that they can't grow together anymore, I find so upsetting. Marriage is about working through the times where you feel like you guys aren't going to grow together. As somebody who, you know, my husband and I have never even considered divorce as an option, it doesn't make sense to me that you would give up on something that you've invested that much time in, your parents to ch three children. It's frivolous to say that we just kind of, we're, we're done. We want to go into a new phase of our lives and experience new things. It sounds frivolous. Marriage isn't frivolous. Marriage is something you work at and you choose every day. Everyone's been pretty shocked by this whole report, but it is interesting. And uh, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments as well. Last but not least, I wanted to talk about a little day trip my husband and I took. We actually went out to Middleburg, Virginia. It's a really cute little main street and it's really fun. It's got an equestrian feel. According to their website, they're the nation's horse and hunt capital. And it's just a really cute place to visit. And it made me think about day trips 
in general. I think day trips are so nice and so fun. I actually met a follower out there, which was also pretty cool. It's just a cute town. So if you are in Virginia, you might want to consider visiting it. And if you are not, you should look into little towns around where you live that have cute main streets that maybe you could do a little day trip out to see because you can get ice cream usually. Usually there's like a little ice cream store and you can just kind of maybe go antiquing or just shop in little boutiques. And I just love doing that. Jacob and I love doing that together. So yeah, that's something that I had a really good time with this past weekend. So that's it for today's video. Make sure to leave in the comments what you guys have been up to. I'd love to hear. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified of all my new videos. Please make sure to subscribe to my Substack. The link will be in the description box below. If you'd like to follow me on social media, it's at Classically Abby absolutely everywhere. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!